Welcome to the Bobcat Cooking Show. Well, we're doing something really simple and easy this week. We've had requests. I put requests out there. What do people want to see? I had one request from a good friend of mine, Dave Pavlik. He wanted to have something that I grew up on. Well, we grew up on a lot of different things, and I've done pizza, and I've done the Chicago Dogs, and stuff like that. But what I haven't done was grilled cheese. And we did grow up on a grilled cheese and tomato soup. Started out during Lent every Friday. It was grilled cheese and tomato soup. And then it carried on for the whole winter. So every Friday throughout the winter from like the end of September all the way till February or March, Friday night in our house was tomato soup and grilled cheese. But we're kicking it up a notch. We're making a cream of tomato soup, which I already have on the stove which I added two big cans of tomato soup, um, one can of water, and three quarters can of uh, heavy cream. I added some basil and some parsley. We didn't have that growing up. Typical soup from Campbell's and a thing of water. And grilled cheese was American cheese and white bread. We are kicking it up. We are using potato bread. And we are using smoked cheddar. And we are also going to be using pepper jack. Because we really want to give this a little kick. And use good cheese. This is from our butcher. This is not packaged cheese. This is from the butcher. If you're going to do a sandwich, do it right. <laughs> All right, so we've got two smoked on the bottom, one pepper jack in the middle. Well, maybe we should put two in the middle, huh? Yeah, I think cameraman says, yeah, go for it. All righty. So we'll put two. This is going to be good and cheesy. All righty. And we've got our butter going. I've got some slices here. I'm going to put one slice in between. Oh, that's going to be a pretty thick sandwich. But I guess it's going to be good. Turn that up a little bit. Let that cook and I'm going to make another one. So we'll probably make a few of these. So here we go. Two smoked. Yeah, they were out of cheddar at the butchers. And they only had wedges. And they did have smoked. So I thought, you know, that would give it a really nice, nice flavor. Now, I made the one the double for you, but I think I'm going to make these single. Oh, this one broke. There we go. Because I don't want to put too much of that pepper cheese in there. It'll be too hot. And I don't want to make it too, too much cheese. So we'll save that one for the cameraman. All right, they could actually fit another one in here. And you want to cook it over like a, a medium low so that butter will melt inside. And you want to get this nice and golden brown. There we go. Oh, if you could just smell this cheddar sharp cheese. Woo, Dave, this is for you. <laughs> Wish you were here. <laughs> You and Mary Ellen, <laughs> they could be eating this. Alrighty. Okay, I think we're going to need another little slice here in the pan for this third one. There we go. There we go. And let's see how our first one's doing. If it's ready, it to be flipped over. Another minute, but that also needs a little more, a little more butter on that one. So we're gonna put half of that slice in here. Let that cook for a minute, and I'll put up another one. I figured two each, maybe would do it. So we have to do another set of three here. Oh, 
Ooh, this smoked cheddar has really got a nice smoky smell to it. Flavor is going to be awesome. Cut up a bunch of butter ahead of time in nice little slices so I'd have it all ready. And let's see how this one's doing. Ooh, that's pretty hot. I think that's ready. Let's see. Oh, nice. Okay, but it is going to need butter, as you can see. I'm sparingly using butter on here. Oh, look at how nice and golden that is. That's nice. That's how you want them. Let's see how this one's doing. Let's about get there. Put that butter on top and then we're going to flip them. There we go. And that one's ready as well. Alrighty. Those are nice and golden. Okay, there's one. done with this in no time. And we're going to have a special one this week, I think, doing this with our tomato soup. Gives you a nice feeling of fall, which is special. Which is very special. last one. I think that ought to do it. I think two is good. Two for each. Alrighty. I serve it. Another minute on that one. And another minute on that one. Alrighty, well, we're going to let this cook off and we'll come back when we're at the table. Oh, what a meal! <laughs> and yet so simple, yet so, so simple. elegant. Yeah, well, we changed it up. You know, Dave Pavlik, he wanted something we grew up on. Yeah, oh, and we grew up. Look at the inside of this. Yeah, yeah you got, nice melted. Yeah, different kind of cheese. Right, because right? we grew up with American cheese uh -huh. and regular tomato soup. Uh huh. So I kicked it up a little bit to keep oh, up with current wow. times. I'm sure you kicked it up a, a lot. <laughs> I put bit. some basil in it, some parsley, oh. some heavy cream, and then our grilled cheese. I used potato bread instead of white bread. Uh huh. And instead of American cheese, we used smoked cheddar wow. and pepper jack. Oh, look at that! I got a little. I'm trying to. And now I put some uh, roasted diced tomatoes in the soup as well with some oh, green onion. So creamy. That is so creamy, Kathy. Let's see. Mmm. It's got a nice cream to it. Nice mm. thick. Mm. Oh. oh, yeah, that's good. I'm going to try this now. That's good. Look at, the, look at how thick that is. And the cheese is done The cheese perfect. is perfectly. Mm -hmm. Perfectly melted, perfectly golden. Oh, wow. And what cheeses did mm. you use? Different mm. cheeses? This is smoked cheddar. Smoked cheddar, huh? And pepper jack. Oh, wow. I mean, it's not hot, though. No, mm. I didn't want it to be too hot. No, it's good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Michael's might be a little hotter because he wanted two in one of his, so. Oh, perfect. Boy. And I didn't want to put two in there because I didn't want it to be overpowering. So oh. I put one. Simply Soup is delicious. Good, isn't it? Simply delicious. But you know, I didn't mm. want to say something because I like to keep it brief because I want to eat. But for anybody out there, uh, <clears throat> I, I just heard that most accidents happen three miles from your home. Okay. So I would advise everybody to move five miles away from where they live, and that way they would be safe and they could keep watching the videos. <laughs> You're funny. <laughs> anyway, next week, 
the same time. Oh, and we have the cat eating now. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, brother. Look at this. Look at this. Bringing family and pets back, back together to together. Get, back to the table again since 2013. <laughs> have a good one. Hit that like button.